Hi. Welcome to Under Lakes Tarot. I hope you guys are doing okay. Um, I hope everyone's safe. Uh, about to go into um, 2022, which is going to be a, a, a year of vindication. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited too. Um, okay, so today's read, um, this read's going to be for Virgos. I was meditating and I got this song, okay? Um, Spirit uses a lot of songs <laughs> to show me things. Um, okay, so <sighs> this is a song by uh, James Bay. It's called Let It Go. Um, so this one line, it goes, all this delusion in our heads is gonna bring us to our knees, right? And then it goes, so come on, let it go, just let it be, why don't you be you, and I'll be me, everything that's broke, leave it to the breeze, let the ashes fall, forget about me. So Virgos, either um, you're dealing with someone who's not willing to let you go, or this is this is happening to you, or you're doing this. Either or, um, yeah, somebody's kind of like, kind of really heartbroken by this. They don't want to let you go. Okay, so, but they need to. I think that's <laughs> what the song is trying to say. Um, yeah, so let's just start off with these cards. Let's just dive in, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, please allow me to be a channel. <sighs> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do my Virgos need to hear at this time? Someone is obsessed as fuck. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> it may not be good obsessed. Okay, when someone is obsessed with you, I know how it could seem flattering, but it's actually dangerous. Like, it's not cute. Because their obsession is, like, not really about, like, it doesn't equate... Obsession doesn't equate to love and respect. It equates to their own selfish desires. Do you understand? Okay, sorry. I just want to make that clear. <sighs> mm. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was upside down. Okay, so first out the gate, we got Angel of Love, number 49. You could be 49, the person you're dealing with could be 49. It could just be a number. Okay, so this is someone that you have a romantic relationship with and a connection. We also have Rest and Rejuvenation in reverse. So I'm getting somebody um, can't rest. They're all in their head, all bothered. Um, we also have, and that's number 19. We also have attachment number five. Um, this person's unwilling to let you go, unwilling to detach from you. Look at like to the point, like they wanna wear your skin and shit. They wanna like, they wanna take your face. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, we have first chakra at the bottom of the deck, right? Number 35. So this is talking about the, the base chakra, right? The root chakra. 
Okay, somebody could have put a love spell on you, like a, a come to me spell. So that you can speak to them or you make the first move. Something like that. They didn't want to make the first move. Um, this person has insecurities. They don't want the cycle to end. Okay. <sighs> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Can you help me clarify the cards that I have before me for my Virgos? So I can have a clear, better understanding of what's going on here. How do we have Angel of Love? They want to offer you a solid new beginning in love and romance. We got the gift card here. They may want to come approach you with a gift to show you how much they love you. Yes, you could be dealing with a boss, a CEO, or just a wealthy man. Why do we have rest and rejuvenation in reverse spirit? Okay, we have mature man. So there's two men in this situation. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Why do we have attachment spirit? Yeah, they don't want to let go of this partnership. Yeah, they're really trying to tie you down. I'm also getting one of these people in this relationship could have addictions. This could be gambling, sex, money, while, uh, spending addiction as well. Why do we have first chakra spirit? So we have community with the first chakra. Oh, I have to say it. I don't know how to say that. I'm also getting someone who could have married this person for money. So they don't want to leave this connection because they want to continue having generational wealth. Okay. Mm, I don't want to use these. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me a little bit more about this situation we have here? I'm also getting like this person identifies as being like a family man or a family woman. They don't want to detach from that situation. Uh, I'm getting somebody doesn't know themselves. Nor do they love themselves. Why do we have angel of love in the gift card spirit? That is too many cards. <laughs> you want to come out. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Why do we have the angel of love and the gift card spirit? That was so freaking beautiful. <laughs> we have ten of discs. Ten of discs or ten of pentacles. Um, it represents inheritance. It represents family. It, it represents um, community. Somebody wants to protect their family. They want to protect their generational wealth. So they are, that's what this is. Can you tell me more, Angel of Love? I'm 
I'm getting, oh my, I'm getting something else. I'm also getting your father may come approach you with a gift. It could be about an inheritance that you don't know about. This is a second story. If it's not that, Tony Warner Yeah, no, this is about some sort of income. This is about a large sum of money. Someone's going to come gift you a large sum of money. They want to communicate with you quickly. Um, because it's already been revealed. Or someone... Re something about something about money we got will of fortune at the bottom of the deck we got what is he king of discs so king of pentacles this could be a husband a husband could have been hiding money from you he could have been saying oh yeah i know we're broke we don't have this da 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 maybe now that you're you're wanting to leave or something or they're going to try to buy your love or something to avoid karma. Not sure. Why do we have unrest and rejuvenation with mature man spirit? We have 10 of swords and we have four of swords. This is something about a father. We have emperor at the bottom of the deck. This could be a father. Oh gosh, okay, I have to say this. This is like another storyline. There could be a father. Um, a father passed. But I'm getting their soul. Oh gosh. Their soul uh, is not resting uh because of because there's some sort of lies about how they passed or some sort of money is not being distributed the way he his wishes something about his wishes his will tell me more if it's not that it could be about this husband this king of pentacles or it could be about somebody's boss maybe they let you go from a job and they're regretful from it They feel like they made the wrong choice. Or if this was a husband. Be your own leader of discernment, please. Why do we have... Um, okay. Someone is regretful. Someone could be mourning someone's death for real. Yeah, I'm getting somebody's soul is not resting because truth is not being revealed. Um, there could be a Leo or you, a Virgo involved. Also a Gemini. The lovers. Someone feels they made the wrong choice. I'm also getting in this situation. Someone feels like they were, they did it at, they were vulnerable. Or maybe now they're feeling vulnerable about this. I'm also getting, they're getting visited at night. We got, um, nine of swords. Sleepless nights, worry, anxiety, mental torture. Why do we have attachment and marriage? We got seven of wands. We got six of wands in reverse. So with this attachment here, if this is like the other storyline, the, 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 um, the marriage, Uh, 
Um, someone is being defensive and they don't want to be attached. They don't want to be with this person, right? Um, tell me more, spirit. I'm getting someone could have told some lies about this somebody else or somebody in this partnership and uh those lies were unsuccessful. Tell me more. It could be involving a couple. I'm um, um, a couple. We got the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. So I feel like there's a strong, there could be a strong spiritual bond with these people. These two, the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. Uh, one person's uh, defensive and that makes someone else feel defeated. Because of some secrets. We have the High Priestess here. There are secrets here. Someone feels like a fucking fool. Uh, why do we have the first chocolate and community spirit? I'm getting... Someone try to cover up with lies. Whatever fortune that you're getting. So telling lies is also another form of black magic, right? So I see how like this is you. You have the world in your hands, right? And this is the will of fortune. Like luck is on your side. Something's something's closing for this community. I'm getting this community or family group. Uh Whatever lies and deception, it's being blocked out. Is Justice is here. Virgo. There could be a there could be a private investigator in this situation. God, my ears are going crazy. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more about this situation so I can have better clarity? I'm also getting someone's very, uh, doesn't, somebody doesn't know what to do. Someone can't distinguish between the lies and the truth. Can you tell me more, Spirit? Bottom of the deck, we have shield. You need to defend yourself. Virgos, you need to defend yourself. We got love. Or you need to defend yourself from a Virgo. We have love here. We have older woman. Dealings or relationships with an older woman could be involved. Maybe you need to defend yourself from an older woman or you're an older woman. We have fan. It says romance, celebration, party. We have bouquet. It says compliments from an admirer. So someone might come in and bring you flowers. Or this gift, right? We have key. It says successful outcome to your problems. Okay, I'm going to move on to these. This was... Mm. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you please give me um, some more clarity on the situation for Virgos? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, okay. 
so at the bottom <clears throat> so at the bottom of the deck we have false person so someone in this situation is being a false person uh they're not they're not who they say they are it could be this older woman it could be a leo it could be a gemini It could be a, a Leo, um, Aries, Sagittarius. Could be a Pisces. Could be a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. Okay, so we have a Whining Gimbus Moon. So this moon phase is um, represents gratitude. We have a soulless being, empty shell. So someone is a soulless being of an empty shell. They're just an empty shell of a person. We have an Aquarius. It could be an Aquarius. We have um, secret exposed. So secrets are exposed. Probably this Aquarius's secrets are exposed. This Aquarius could be a bookworm. They could be an angry person. We have 8888. It says... All the money you spent is going to come back to you multiplied. Better finances are coming. You've been through a lot. It's time for you to continuously attract prosperity that goes beyond what you spend. So expect abundance soon. We have Tiana Taylor, Rose in Harlem. Maybe you should listen to this song. You could probably find more messages within it. We have New Moon which the new moon is happening very soon. I think the moon's illuminated at like 4% right now. So somebody's name has an O in it, first, middle, or last. We have profit. So it says, um, I wrote down the definition in the back. So it says a person regarded as an inspired teacher or proclaimer of the will of, of God a fourth teller it says the job of a prophet is prime their primary role is to make the to make known the word of god and this often involved calling people back to obedience to god they denounced injustice idolatry and empty rituals dangerous to be it's dangerous to be a prophet people mocked and imprisoned and pros 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 prosecuted god's prophets we have eyes Maybe someone likes your eyes or they, they're looking at you. They're spying on you. We have powerful connection. Someone may be bi bisexual. Someone may also be lying that they're bisexual, bisexual or they're just a liar. We have an Aries slash Taurus cups, cusp or there is a Taurus or an Aries involved in this. Okay. Let's see. What do they want to say? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you please tell me a little bit more about this situation? Any more, Spirit? Are these Virgos? Okay. Someone says you drive me crazy. Someone says I regret not defending you. I thought you, I thought of you with someone else and it makes me fall apart. Someone wants to say, I think you're a hottie. Someone says, uh, be bold and make the first move. Someone says, I'm a coward. That's why I got that love spell um, energy. Someone might have put a love spell on you. So that you can make the first move and reach out and not them. Because this person's too afraid to do it. Um, we have lost. 
So this person could be a lost soul. They don't know why they're here, what their life purpose is, um, or who they are as a person. Or what they stand for. We have, um, I'm with her slash him, but my heart is with you. You blocked this person or, you, or they blocked you. We have pulled back your energy at this time. You could be celibate or they could be celibate. Someone is stuck in the matrix. Somebody is a trickster. It could be the side chick. There's trust issues in this situation. Someone wants to say you are not what I expected. Okay. This is a lot. <laughs> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell us a little bit more for my Virgies? What do they need to hear right now? What what do they need to be enlightened about? What what do they need to know? Tell me more. I think that's enough. Okay, so we have identity fraud at the bottom of the deck. We have scammed the will. Someone scammed a will, changed the name on a document, something. They altered a, a will for someone's inheritance. Probably this older gentleman or father figure that has passed away. We have police are investigating you. Someone is dying slowly. Somebody uh, created a bank account in your name that you don't know about. Oh, we have, we are, uh, we, we solving crimes right here. Pay attention. I made a copy of your keys. This could be a copy of, of the keys to your home, copy of the keys to your car, copy, copy to the keys to your office, something. Stolen identity. Persecution. Someone could be prosecuted for stealing somebody's identity for identity fraud. Someone stole something. They're a thief. Spirit says the crime was personal. Someone may need to get a restraining order from this person because they may be, they are not, they're resisting letting go of your energy, right? They have an attachment issue. They may come towards you acting irate and you may need to get a restraining order. Someone, someone does things on or for the dark web. Somebody could have used your identity and put in an application to get approved for maybe, I don't know, a house, an apartment, credit card, a loan, etc. Someone lied on the stand. So I guess there was a court situation. We have gang, gang activity. So someone in this situation is associated with gangs. <laughs> Once again, this community, this toxic family is involved. They may have, oh my God, they may have gotten you a, or wanted to get you kidnapped. A boyfriend and your toxic family could be involved in this or your girlfriend, whoever's watching, you know, you know where to put yourself in this storyline. I'm also getting the boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever. They're refusing to apologize to you. Okay. 
I'm gonna go over these cards real quick and then um we're gonna see what else what other additional messages I can get from this I hope this is resonating with somebody there's a lot going on here someone might want to come in and apologize for all this uh, maybe because they know they're gonna be found out about some sort of identity fraud or something I don't think this is gonna work though because the will is in your favor so let's start off it says I think you're a hottie I thought of you with someone else and it makes me fall apart so I feel like this person just um, I feel like this person has ego issues like they have they have a big ego um you drive me crazy kidnapped toxic family gang activity light on the stand application approved in your name does things on or for the dark web Maybe they try to hire someone to kidnap you from the dark web. Restraining order could be in your near future or it already is on somebody you know. 8888 abundance. Somebody is angry that you're getting some sort of abundance. This person could be a bookworm. They're saying you are not what I expected. I'm also getting someone didn't expect that you're an intelligent person. Um, side chick could be a trickster. Somebody is stuck in the matrix still. Somebody could be celibate. Spirit wants you to pull back your energy at this time from these people or person. Somebody is refusing to apologize. It could be this boyfriend. There is a secret bank account in your name that you are unaware about. It's regarding your stolen identity. Someone made a copy of your keys. Pay attention, we are solving crimes right here. This crime was a personal crime. Theft. Someone will be prosecuted. Someone will be dying slowly. It could be an Aquarius. This Aquarius could be a soulless being of an empty shell or somebody you know. Doesn't have to be Aquarius. This could be happening to an Aquarius. Um, an Aries Taurus cusp or an Aries and a Taurus could be involved in this situation. Somebody is a liar. They could be lying about their sexuality because they're bisexual and maybe they're straight or, you know. Powerful connection. Somebody likes your eyes or you see through somebody. We have a prophet. Someone's first middle or last name could start with an O. Something significant could happen during the new moon. Tiana Taylor, Rose in Harlem. Some sort of secrets are exposed. Somebody was blocked, either through your phone, social media handles, um, etc. They want to say I'm with him or her, but my heart is with you. Somebody is a somebody is a lost individual. They want to let you know that they are a coward. I'm getting their spirit guides are, are guiding them to be bold and make the first move. Waning gibbous moon, someone needs to show or someone needs to have grat gratitude. Uh, they need to release bad habits, negative thoughts. They want to say, I regret not defending you. The police are investigating you or these people or this toxic family. 
regarding some sort of will that was altered, some sort of inheritance. Okay, um, so that's the end of your read, Virgo. I hope you've gained some sort of clarity or confirmation or healing from this. Um, yes, uh, please like, dislike, share, comment, um, subscribe. It would really help out my channel. Um, uh, I really hope that you guys enjoy your night and have a great day. I love you. Okay, bye.